Hi. Um, hello, I'm Bastien Gary from the French government. Um, and I feel like an old guy planting a tree now, thanks <laughs> to your inspiring talk. So I'm speaking for the Prime Minister Services, where we have this uh, open source program office. I wear these blue hats, that's the symbol of open source and free software uh, hackers, maintainers, developers, and every civil servant who cares about open source in the French administration is relied by these blue hats. And I'm presenting the Blue Hats Awards uh, that got inspiration from the Sovereign Tech Fund work and from our friends from Germany and from the deeper problem that you are all aware of here in this room. And sadly enough, my friend Joss is not here, but he was co-presenting with me and I will play a video uh, where you can share the messages. So code.gov.fi is the place where we advertise about all open source things in the French administration. And this is active for the last three years. And, um, and we started by monitoring all repositories published by any French public sector organization. We end up with a lot of repositories. We have now more than 25,000 repositories, half of them with a free software license, half of them with a README, some of them with some contributing .yaml. And, um, and this is the Blue Hats community working on all this stuff in every ministry out there in France. But we all had the same problem. We also have the mandatory picture here that we are using tons of dependencies and NPM found sometimes reveal uh, the cracks um, under the floor. So we had this problem. How do you spend public money for this? This is a hard problem. Spending money comes with constraints. You have, uh, it's okay to pay for new features or ongoing maintenance on some software, even if it's hard already, procurement is hard, but you can do that. It's okay to sponsor structure, association companies for past developments, but you cannot finance new uh, development. Um, you cannot finance past development, sorry. And you cannot sponsor uh, associations, collective individuals for uh, f sponsor them for new features and ongoing maintenance. So what about individual maintainers, uh, some of whom uh, may be volunteers, they only accept uh, payments through PayPal, through GitHub sponsors, and so that's a hard problem for government to tackle this. We end up with this idea of rewarding them with a price. That's 10k euro prices for past development and maintenance, not future features, to individual floss maintainers, and the question we had was how to deal with the money transfer details. Then we were lucky enough to meet with NLNet that's operating in uh, Europe. And I will now play the video. Hopefully the sound will be OK from my friend, uh, Hello. Joss. My name is Joss from Europe. I'm sorry that I can't be here live with you today. The flooding disrupted my travel to Vienna. I work at NLNet Foundation. And an Allied Foundation is a foundation that has its origins in 1982. It was the first Dutch internet service provider, and um, in 1989 it became a foundation. The foundation was using the proceeds of the ISP to support open source software and open hardware. When the ISP was sold, a large amount of money went into the foundation, and we have been funding many projects over the years. We've always done this with our own funding, but in the last years, we've also helped others to support open source software. So basically, we're funding as a service. An example of that is the Next Generation Internet. The Next Generation Internet is an EU initiative that was proposed by Enelnet and Gartner and consists of many individual funds. You can look on ngi.eu for all of them. The budget is over a quarter of a billion euros. A large part of this funding is cascaded funding. That means that organizations like Analnet write into a tender and get assigned to divvy up funds for a particular topic into smaller projects. Since 2019, Analnet has run and is still running 850 of these projects. Our website, analnet.nl, lists all of them. I advise you to have a look. There are many well-known names in there, and these projects have very different scales. They go from hardware like open Wi-Fi chips and open design laptops, to secure connections via WireGuard, new file systems like bcashfs, 
and also to open social media like Mastodon. But there's much more, much more. Have a look. We've also been contacted by dinner. Bastien contacted us and said, how can you help us to support open source projects that the French government relies on? Together, we came up with the idea of the Blue Rats Prize. The Blue Rats Prize in 2024 consists of four times 10,000 euros. This prize is given to projects that are selected by a jury consisting of French uh, ministries. The projects receive recognition, financial support and promotion uh, by being published on our website. Ananet has helped Dinim by setting up the website, collecting all the nominations, selecting them, helping to author jury guidelines, and after a winner has been selected, we have interviewed them and written up a nice announcement and published it on our website. So far this year, we've had three winners. The first one was DNS Mask. DNS Mask was started in the early days of the internet by Simon Kelly. He needed a way to connect his computer, his multiple computers, to a single modem. That meant managing IP addresses locally via the DHCP protocol, and also handling the domain names mapping to IP addresses. The NSNS has been around so long and is almost everywhere. It's a very small C code base, which is now in Android, your routers, and many Linux distributions. The second winner was Node 4 IDC provider. This name probably requires some explanation, which I'm not going to do, I'm just going to tell you what it does. Node or IDC provider, a project by Philip Skokan, is a single sign-on service. It makes it possible for you to sign in once with your password or multi-factor authentication and then log in to ex or access multiple websites. This is an important service for the French government, which uses it to let the citizens connect to multiple websites. And Dinim uses it in its French France Connect uh, project. The third winner is Maven. Maven is part of the Apache project and is used to compile Java source code. It's also used to manage all the dependencies of your project and as such it is a linchpin in your software stack. The Apache team uh, was also very happy to win and uh, we hope they can, they can continue into the future. With that, I would like to tell you a bit about what makes these projects similar. All of them are programs that run in the background. They don't have a user interface, and so they're not so visible to most users. But as you've heard from the description of what they do, they're very important projects. Uh, but getting funding them and support and recognition for them is a bit hard. So we're very proud that we were able to support these projects by awarding them the prize. Now, Bastien is going to continue and tell you about the how and the why of this prize. Please enjoy the rest of the conference, and if you have any questions, do get in touch. Bye. Thank you, Ross. And um, a few words for, to finish. So, the overview, uh, Joss gave you the numbers, uh, but for the jury, we had three, ministers, three ministries with us, and that was really helpful. And also, it was we learned a lot in the process of explaining why we had to support these key open source uh, libraries. And we had more than uh, 50 submissions, and the collaboration with LNet was really key in the process to make the, pro the project known to have more submissions to deal with the international and European side of it. The criteria were about importance for the public sector, criticality in terms of cybersecurity, financial impact for the maintainer, and usefulness of the recognition through the price, which was also key because we didn't, not, we didn't want just to just give money. We wanted to explain to the whole public sector why it was important to um, support this project. The lessons do make only one call for all the projects. Don't try to iterate over, over several calls for projects and submissions. And uh, the more knowledgeable organizations in the jury, the better. Do work with your friends that already know a bit about open source, otherwise you need to start from scratch. The evaluation process will be time consuming, whatever you can do about this, but that's part of the deal. And the connection with Floss maintainers is really rewarding. 
like we have now a human connection. Now when we do PR on the GitHub repository, they know us, they know the, pub, the French public sector and we don't come from, from nowhere. And that's it, thank you very much. And here is the email, I'm Bastien, and that was Joss, thank you.